Calyx was founded in 2005 by myself and a Queenslander named Colin Hawley. He had a great idea for a new type of kiln or furnace. As Connor and I developed the idea, it became apparent that the technology had the potential to be applied to many industries and could help address some of the world's most pressing problems. We raised some money, did some small scale testing and gave some great results, encouraged us to build a commercial scale facility at Bacchus Marsh in Victoria. The Calyx Flash Calciner or CFC process involves grinding minerals or other feedstocks to between one hundredth and one thousandth of a millimetre in size, then flash heating them in an externally heated reactor in a very short time, up to about 950 degrees centigrade. As trapped gases in the material bubble out through the particles, they create highly porous structures. These particles are then cooled very quickly, leaving a very porous, honeycomb-like structure. New materials produced by the CFC are proven to have similar reactive properties to nanoparticles, without the safety concerns and high costs but with all the benefits that nanotechnology is developing into numerous products, applications and markets. I joined Calyx in 2013 because I could sense the huge potential of this technology. Uh, it's a platform technology that has two sides, production of nanoactive materials on the one hand and the potential to be applied in CO2 capture on the other. Our first commercial product was released in 2013 for wastewater treatment, followed closely by two more products in 2014 one for infrastructure protection, and a specialty chemical additive. All these products are now in export. In addition to our commercial products, we also have some pre-commercial products already in paid trials in Asia and Europe that look really exciting. One's a water conditioner to help with uh, yields and environmental problems in aquaculture. And the other's a non-toxic, environmentally friendly, broad spectrum crop protection product. We also have a rich research and development pipeline with some really exciting developments in advanced batteries as well as CO2 capture for the lime and cement industries. Additionally, if the materials have trapped CO2, the technology can separate that CO2 directly for no additional energy penalty. For example, limestone by weight is approximately 50% CO2, which is released as a gas when making lime, and is therefore why the cement and lime industries are very CO2 intensive. Application of the technology in CO2 mitigation is thus of interest to those industries. And we're piloting these programs uh, with over 25 million in funding from Australian and European governments. And we are working with some of the world's largest companies in these areas. Having proven its commercial products and business models, Calyx is about to embark on some serious market entries into the US, Europe and Asia to grow its revenues and margins. We will also continue to develop our pre-commercial products into fully-fledged commercial products and processes through both direct and distribution sales and licensing strategies. And lastly, we'll continue to develop the multitude of high potential R&D applications into some of the world's fastest growing industries. Calyx really is all about creating new materials and processes to solve global challenges.